So hello guys, welcome. Today we'll see what all equipments or items are required to do wall wash on ship. So I've arranged all the items for you to see it properly. We'll start from the beginning, from the left side. You must have a 500 ml of bottle, sample bottles. You can have sample bottles of this, round shape or open mouth. It depends what kind of funnel you have. As you can see over here, this is the funnel which I have, which which is open type and it so it is not matching to my bottle so of course for this i am not using these kind of bottles i am using open mouth bottles as you can see if i put over this it is very easy for wall wash to drain inside these bottles so that's why i am using open mouth bottles otherwise you also have sharp edges of funnels which we don't have here on the bottle So make sure you have a stainless steel funnel which is much more uh, better than a plastic funnel. Then you must have a paint marker just to mark on your bottles. With a permanent marker it normally fades away so it's best you have, must have a paint marker from which you can mark the num uh, tank name. You can mark the tank name on the bottle itself so that it is easy when you are going for multiple tanks. And next is bottles, 500 ml bottles of plastic bottles. You can normally mark them DI water, as you can see I have marked them DI water, methanol, so on. Now only thing which I have to tell you over here is, so as you can see over here, it has a, it has a neck which is pointing downwards. So this thing is okay for here, for DI bottles. But if you go inside a tank, it is very hard to squeeze the bottle and put, spray this on the tank. So make sure you have such a bottle also which has a nose which is pointing upwards or at least which is not pointing downwards as you can see so as you can see the difference between these two bottles this bottle will be good for doing okay so this bottle will be good for doing methanol spray on the tank instead of this bottle as it will be very hard for anybody to spray on the tank as compared to this one which has a sharp inclination to its neck so for methanol make sure you have such bottle if you don't then cut this, you can cut it from here, so that uh, you can make one for your own. Now these are test tubes, so there are different different type of, type of test tubes, 100 ml, 50 ml and in different shape and from different companies. These are glass bottles, but uh, the one which I normally use is these ones, 50 ml and you can see it does not have multiple graduation, it only have two graduation, 25 ml and 50 ml. So as you can see over here, as compared to this one, it has multiple graduations and the markings are also in blue color. So once you are reading your test, it will be difficult for you to read for, uh, to check for white beams or blue color lines for chloride. It is very hard in these bottles. So the best is such bottles, which have only least markings. Like you can see 25 ml and 50 ml. It only has two markings and there are no other graduations. And these markings are also in white color, not in some other color which might uh, disturb your observance so best is these bottles so that's why you can see these three bottles i've kept over here i'm doing all my tests within these bottles as compared to the other bottle which has multiple graduations so i'm not using these bottles and 50 ml bottle is more than enough for you to do any test chloride test or hydrocarbon test now next is this pipettes so make sure you have pipettes and they also must have graduation. You must have a pipettes which must have graduation 3 ml, 2.5, 2 ml and so on. This is only 1 ml pipette. So make sure you have 3 ml pipette. This is much more uh, much more useful as compared to the one which is 1 ml. And also you must have a stand. You must have a stand to keep your test tubes. Next is shoe covers. So there are two types of shoe covers as plastic shoe covers which are of low quality. And also there are shoe covers of clothes. So these one are these one are also shoe covers. So these are of cotton material. So these are good. They can last at least in two three tanks, as compared to the ones which are plastic. They will last maybe one tank. Now next is gloves. These gloves. Make sure you have these gloves. These gloves are powder free. As you can read over here, these are powder free, textured clear. This is very important. They should not have any powder on them. 
okay these are not surgical gloves remember this these are powder free gloves any color blue color white color whatever color you have make sure you have a bucket because once you are for example let's say this is my methanol bottle for example you are washing your bottles rinsing your bottles you must have a bucket to collect all your uh, all your residues of uh, methanol di everything so you make sure one you have one bucket in your ccr and also one bag you can have any kind of bag carry bag this is just a normal bag which we have kept over here this is somebody's used bag which we have kept so this bag is very handy when i want to carry methanol sample bottle sample bottle then funnel so for it to take sample in a tank all i need is these three things methanol sample bottle and funnel so this becomes very handy to carry it and if you want to go in multiple tanks it's very easy to carry it on your shoulder now also other than the equipments there are three chemicals which you must have one is nitric acid bottle 20% solution you can read over here this is nitric acid i have marked on the cap also just for my easy reference to to check it every time and then there is silver nitrate 5% solution so these two bottles these two bottles are required for chloride test once you are doing chloride test for your wall wash samples these two chemicals will be required and next i also have one bottle of sulfuric acid this sulfuric acid bottle is required to clear the your sam these uh, test tubes or sample bottles if it has discoloration if it has some other coloration pink yellow if they are not cleaned properly if you doubt that they are not being cleaned properly you can add few drops of sulfuric acid in your bottles or in your sample bottles then rinse it properly with di add di rinse properly and then throw in your pockets also if you want you can have uh, tissue papers with your with you just to wipe your bottles and all if you are required so also you also have one cold bath which which must be there in this you have to be able to do ptt test so this also you must have this is required for ptt test so also you must have an uh, surface where you have either black color garbage bag or something uh, just to do your test because the sample must be checked behind a black screen so that's why we have kept this also you can you should also have lights with yourself to carry out these tests so as you can see this light and this light i have two lights over here the problem with this light is that it is blue in nature and let me just switch off the light and show you so here you can see after switching on the light it is slightly much more apparent that the light is bluish in nature so we should not have such light and on the other end if you will see that if i switch on the other light it is slightly yellowish so it's better to have such slightly yellowish or whitish light instead of bluish light because the bluish light will obscure your visual results the light has blue in it so this there is no requirement of such lights so never keep such lights make sure you have a flashlight which is intrinsically safe of course so make sure you have a flashlight which is in white color the core of it it has a led which is of white color because once you are referring to your samples it's better that you have a clear sample in white color rather than a blue light because because it will always show blue color so this these lights are not good make sure you have a light of white color so that's why i have this white color light or at least either you can have a mag light which is of course a requirement but if you don't have mag lights then you can have such light which is white color led in it thank you okay first is you must have a 500 ml of water uh, 500 ml uh, as you can see show sure, fuck this and also you must have a stand you must have a stand to keep your test tubes so all your different test tubes can also the problem with this light is that it is blue in nature you can see the difference between these two light this is blue in nature by itself okay. it's not showing you can see on the bulkhead and let me just switch off the light and show you you can see it is showing blue still, still white 
still white. Still white. One of them is just brighter white. Mm -mm. It's not changing. So it won't change because the illumination. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So you could not see this on the. Uh, you can switch up. Switch on. <coughs> So you could not see this on the camera, but there is a difference that this color light on it. Look at here. Same. 